Hello, my name is Idan Cantor from Dell EMC. Recoping for VMs 5.3 includes many exciting features like HTML5 plugin, v 370 support, shared disk support, and more. In this demo, we will look at the new RESTful API. The new API is a lightweight object model supporting filters, partials, and sorting. It provides a single API endpoint for all Recoping for VM systems on a vCenter server and has full self and online documentation. We'll take a look at a few things. Let's start with the Swag UI running on the plugin server. We'll authenticate first. The new API uses vCenter authentication. As you can see, the calls are categorized. Let's take a closer look at get slash groups, which lists all groups across all managed systems. Every call is fully documented, including parameters and code examples. Now let's run the call. Look at the full output. We'll then run it with filters for a specific group and include specific fields. Cool. Now let's look at another call, get slash VMs, which lists all protected VMs. We'll run it with a filter for a specific VM name, production role, and using partials by specifying specific fields to return. Awesome. Look at this output. Finally, scroll down for the models. The second thing we'll go over today is the developer portal. Developer.dallimc.com contains online documentation of the new and awesome RESTful API in RPVMs 5.3. It contains tutorials such as Intro to REST API, authentication, filters, sorting, and partials. Moreover, it has use cases for common flows in the product, such as protect recovery and more. These use case pages include code examples, responses, and really everything needed Finally, it contains a full API reference with code generation. Let's shift gears with a live demo of a protect VM flow using Postman. We'll start with getting the VMs that are candidates for a replication. We'll grab the VM name and the RP VM's cluster name. Then we'll call on the recommendation API with the VM name and the RP VM's cluster name to get the recommended values for protection. We'll copy the entire response. And now for the actual protect VM call. Post slash VM slash protect, which will, will take the response from the recommendation API slash VM slash protect slash defaults and use it as payload. As simple as that. The response contains a transaction ID, which we would use to monitor the progress of the protect operation.
Great, as you can see, the status is completed. Now let's see the status of the specific VM we just protected. Awesome, and now for the main dish. Let's look at the Python script which protects a VM. There you have it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next demos.